Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest uh, defense updates. This is part 2. Part 1 I have already up uploaded in the morning. So let us start. Number 1. Archer NG was born after armed tapas failed to take off. Archer NG weaponized male UAV with a single engine twin boom architecture in pusher configuration powered by an 180 HP diesel engine developed by the VRDE will share most of the components with the current tapas male UAV due to which first flight of the Archer NG has been planned in month of April, May this year. Archer NG will have over 70% of the systems and components from the tapas program that includes its MREO, LREO, SAR and MPAR payloads including ELINT and COMET, IFF, TCAS and UCR systems. Archer NG will have four hard points that can carry a maximum payload of 300 kg that can also be used for intelligence, surveillance, tar target acquisition and reconnaissance that missions. Next. Tapas commences taxi trials with indigenous engine. DRDO chairman Samir V. Kamath has said India's tactical advanced platform for aerial surveillance, medium altitude, long endurance UAV will be flying in the next two months on vehicles research development establishment. Develop 180 HP diesel engine that will replace current 177 HP Ostro 330 EP engines used on the tapas. It has been told that Aero India 2023 that one of the tapas prototype already has been integrated with the indigenous 180 HP diesel engine and that tapas has even commenced slow and fast taxi trials. Next, FUFU will be based on SWIFT. Stealth wing flying tested SWIFT was developed by the Aeronautical Development Establishment Bengaluru, a research laboratory under DRDO as a bridging gap towards the design and development of an indigenous futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft. FUFA will be powered by a 46 K and dry Kaveri engine and is expected to have a 10 ton U A U W that is all up weight that will adopt a flying wing scheme and incorporates the use of composite materials and stealth coating to have reduced radar cross sections. Next WH AF 8 into 8 wheeled armored fighting vehicle was showcased by Tata. Tata Aerospace and Defense at Aero India 2023 showcased the scale model of the WHAF 828 wheeled armored fighting vehicles, which the company had developed jointly with the state owned Defense Research and Development Organization. It is an amphibious infantry combat vehicle integrated with a power pack with automatic uh, transmission, flotation and propulsion modularity and scalability to help the platform be easily customized to cater to, to various missions and operating conditions. Next, Chinese CH-4 UAV fleet in Pakistan is in disarray. ALIT, a Chinese company that manufacture and supply CH4 UAVs to Pakistan is having difficulty keeping them in the air due to several issues including cracks and broken parts in the various UAVs during recent inspections. Pakistan discovered that a section of the exhaust manifold was broken. A crack in the turbocharger of another UAV was discovered. There are issues in the muffer spot which is connected to the engine mount. Similarity, similarly, during a power on shelf, self-check test of AR-2 air to ground missile, it was discovered that one missile serial number 15 had seeker failure. 
the this renders the missile inoperable because it is unable to locate the target next brahmos missiles hypersonic version can be developed within 8 years of government not once it gets government approval brahmos aerospace would require only 8 years to develop the hypersonic version of the supersonic cruise missile which would then enable the forces to strike em- enemy targets much faster than before the forces have projected a requirement of uh, hypersonic missiles and bombs and the requirement is being felt after more after seeing the success of such weapons in the russian ukrainian war next isro to launch two missions under gaganyaan program in 2023 the indian space and research organization will launch two initial missions later this year under the gaganyaan program followed by country's maiden human space flight mission in 2024 union minister jitender singh has said the second part of the 2023 mission will carry a female robot vyom mitra to space and science and technology minister said next key corridor to open new business cooperation routes with india putin president vladimir putin on tuesday said russia is developing the amb- ambitious north south transport corridor which will open up new routes for business cooperation with india iran and pakistan as well as west indies country west asian countries in his 1 hour and 45 minute state of the nation address to the federal assembly putin also said that russia will expand promising international economic connections as well as build new supply corridors as the us led west has imposed crippling section sanctions for moscow's invasion of U- ukraine nearly 1 year ago next 140 passports overnight no bath for days india Indian teams turkey challenge a paramedic leaving her 18 months twins behind to serve the call of duty official processing hundreds of documents to prepare more than 140 passports overnight and rescuers not being to able to take a bath for 10 days the ndrf's mission in quake hit turkey was full of challenges emotional professional and personal they returned to india after the difficult mission a part of their heart still thinking if we could have saved more lives yet a part filed with the love and affection they received from the affected people one of whom grieving the death of wife and three children ensured deputy commander deepak got his vegetarian food wherever he was deployed next court seeks anti terror agency stand on probe against ban group pfi the delhi high court on tuesday sought the stand of the national investigation agency on a plea seeking quashing of its probe against the banned popular front of india in connection with an alleged criminal conspiracy to carry out terror activities in the country justice jasmeet singh issued notice on the petition of by arrested pfi leader oma salam and asked the agency to live to file its response thank you